If you're looking for a project management tool in your business, then you've probably heard of both of these tools before. Asana and Trello are both very popular options in the project management tool space. They both help you organize your business in terms of tasks and projects and helps you assign different tasks to different team members. In this video, I'm going to walk you through both options and show you the reason why I personally chose Asana over Trello to organize my business. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Melissa Mitchell and I am the owner of Wander Make Creative, an online video marketing agency that helps female entrepreneurs create impact and profit online through strategic video marketing. Now, this includes everything from social media, branding, and video, of course. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you're looking for more tools to help you out in your business, make sure to hit the link below this video to download my free marketing resource cheat sheet. Inside, you're gonna find every tool you need to set up a successful business online. Now, why did I choose Asana over Trello? Well, personally, I prefer calendars and checklists over the Kaban style board that Trello uses. Now, a lot of people will probably say, yes, you can create calendars and checklists in Trello, but it does make it a little bit more complicated and I will review all of that with you today. So let's jump on over into my computer and let's walk through both of them together. Okay guys, so let's do the comparison between Asana and Trello. So I have both of them pulled up on my computer here and we're going to walk through both of them together. So first things first is Asana, which is what I personally use for my business. So this is actually the back end of my own Asana account that I use in my business. And as you can see, I have my different um, projects set up here. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to create a new project. So this is all the different projects I have. I have some of them favorited, favorite, favorited at the top here. Let's go down and let's create a new project so I can walk through this with you. So once you start a new project in Asana, there is going to be some pre-done templates that you could choose from. So standup meeting, marketing plan, product launch, social media calendar. Let's just use the um, social media calendar one as an example, because honestly, they're all very similar and it doesn't matter too much. So let's just name this test business plan. Okay, and you can set up different teams within Asana as well, um, which is a little bit higher level. For most of you, you'll just need one team, so you can just leave it on there. You can also make things public to your entire team. So if you have um, more than one person working on your Asana or working on projects with you, you can make things public or you can make things private just to you if you want to keep them a little bit more confidential. So create project. So when you first start an Asana project, they are going to give you kind of a template to get yourself started um, with things set up. So what I really like about Asana is that you have many different views. So no matter how your brain works, there is going to be a view that makes sense to you. So like I said earlier, my brain works best in lists and in calendar formats. So I prefer to keep everything in a list and then I break it down from there. So there are many different ways that you can structure your project plans or your workflows, depending on how your team works, who's in your team, um, and kind of how you like to set up things. But let's just kind of walk through some of the main elements in here. So this is your list format. Um, like I said, they kind of give you some things to get started in here. So these are your sub, like your your subheadings and then your tasks underneath it. So you could come in here, double tap on that, and you could go planning. Um, let's say you're creating a, a blog kind of workflow. So you could do research, you could do writing, um, you could do creation or um, maybe graphics actually. And then you could do um, scheduling and then oops, analytics maybe. So say those were your main kind of sections for your workflow, then you would want to come in here and create, you know, your different tasks. So you could do um, research competition. Um, then you could just, you know, come in here and say um, brainstorm topics or whatever your workflow is. Hopefully you guys have a workflow for all of your different things. If you wanted to continue to create more, you can just hit the return key or the enter key and it's going to continue down to create more tasks for you. The other thing I like about Asana is that you can also create sub lists within a 
within um, a task. So say brainstorm topics, right? So all I did was click on that one and it brings it up onto the side here where I can do some more things. So I could assign it, right? To, I'm gonna assign it to myself. I could pick a due date. So say I wanted to be due on the 23rd and then I could write a description. So I could say, you know, um, make sure you check out um, Digital Marketer blog for more information, right? Like whatever I wanted to remind myself about this task. The other nice thing is that I can add subtasks. So I can say, um, you know, double check blog or whatever I wanted to do. I could create multiple subtasks and then assign those subtasks to different people. So say I wanted to assign this to someone else on my team. I could assign that and it would notify them that they need to complete this task within my task, right? So it's really nice at that project management level if you're collaborating with other people or just to remind yourself that you need to do multiple different tasks. So that's kind of how it works in there. If you are collaborating with other people, they can ask questions and post updates down here and people, everyone else that's involved in this task will be notified so that they know um, that they need to do something with regard to that task. So I'm going to close out of there. The other nice thing that I really like about Asana compared to Trello is that when you're completing a task, you actually can click it or make it complete and it check marks it, but it doesn't make it disappear. It just grays it out so that I know that that's completed, which I really, really like. The next view that you can come over is to board view. And this is very similar to Trello's board view. It's called Caban style. And so this might work well for you if you're the kind of person who really likes to drag and drop things and you're a very, very visual person, or maybe you've learned to organize your business with sticky notes. I know that's a big organization tool that a lot of coaches practice is to have sticky notes on a wall and you kind of move the sticky notes throughout the process of your workflow. This works very similar to that. So um, we could have the same subheadings, right? Research, writing, graphics, scheduling, analytics. And then as soon as one task is done, you could pull it over so that now you know you're on the writing phase. Now you know you need to design the graphics for it. Now you need to schedule it and so on. Um, the next thing is the calendar view. So I really like the calendar view because then I know on each day what needs to get done. I also personally use Asana for my social media calendar so that I know what posts are going to go out on which day. So I'll give you a quick example of that. I'll actually go over into my social media calendar so you can see. So what I also like about it is you can color code it, right? So I can come in here and I know that all of these things need to get done. So I could click on here and I know this is, this is my caption. This is what the main heading of my caption is. It's assigned to me and I know it's due today and I know what category of content it's going in. So that's what I really like the calendar for um, is to organize things that way. The nice thing also about Asana is it has this thing on the side here called my tasks. And this honestly takes the cake of why I chose Asana over anything over or Trello is because of this one right here. So what this my tasks does is it combines every single board you have where you've assigned something to yourself and puts it on a calendar view. You could also put it on a list view if you want, which is fine, but it does look a little overwhelming as a list. So I personally prefer the calendar. So that again, I can come on here and say, okay, so today I know that all of these things need to get done and I can come in here and check them all off. And it just keeps me more accountable to know what things need to be done on which day according to a calendar. So let's go back over into that test view that I did again. Let's go back over here. So that's kind of the main different views of Asana. You have the list, you have the board, and you have the calendar. Some of these other things like forms and things, um, you would have to upgrade into the paid plan of Asana to be able to get access to these things. I personally don't use the paid plan of Asana because the free one works perfectly fine for me and my business, but that is an option there for you as well. The other thing is conversation. So you could have a conversation with 
anybody else in your team who is on this board. So for myself, when I'm doing YouTube videos, I will have used this portal here to have conversations with my editor to make sure that he's on board with anything or if I need to send him a new file, anything like that, I will put it in here so that he knows that um, he needs to go and update that in the, in, the, in the new video that he's upgrading or editing. So that's the basic rundown of Asana. Now let's jump over to Trello so you guys can see the difference. So I'm gonna move over here to, this is the Trello board here. And again, I'm logged into my back end of my Trello account. So I was using Trello when I first started my business. Um, so it hasn't been touched in a while. So some of these boards are quite old, um, but it'll give you a good idea of kind of how it's set up. So I can come in here and again, you can create a board. So if you come up to the top right hand corner here, you can say create board and you can say test content and that's so great. <clears throat> One nice thing about Trello is that it is super visual. So it's kind of fun. You can come over here into this, to the sides here and change the background to anything you want, which is really kind of fun. Um, I do kind of miss that about, about Trello is that some of the pictures you can use are quite beautiful and it's just a kind of a fun way to spice up your day, but it honestly doesn't outweigh some of the other things that I really like about Asana. So keep that in mind. But this is a blank board. Um, the thing about Trello is you can add lists. So it's very similar to the Kaban board that I showed you on um, Asana, but it doesn't have some of the other features that make Asana, I guess, easier to use in my mind. So let's do the same one. Let's say research, what did I say? Writing, um, content. I think I said graphics in the other one, didn't I? Graphics. Um, let's say schedule and then analytics, right? We'll use the same example. So these are your lists or your, and then underneath you can add cards. So it's similar in the sense that instead of having the categories that Asana had, right? And then the tasks underneath you have in, in Trello, you have the lists and then cards are your tasks. So you could say, um, Reese brainstorm topics. And then you could, you know, et cetera, blah, 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 whatever. So if you click on one of these brainstorm topics, it's going to bring up the card, just like it did in Asana on the, on the right-hand side. This one's just a card that it's going to bring up. So it has a couple different features. Again, you could write a description. So this is what I need to do. You could um, write a comment if you were collaborating with someone. So make sure to do this, right? You can attach different things. You can say at someone. Um, this is an old account, so I don't have any of any team members on this account at all. But you could you could tag someone if you wanted to, right? And have that have that there. The other thing you can do is you can add labels here. So if you wanted to have different color coding for for some sort of workflow reason, you could do that. You can add the due dates um, to have it there you can also add a checklist. So this would be similar to how in Asana um, you had, let's go back over here into my board. You had the subtasks, right? So I had, um, you know, all of these different subtasks within here. You can do something similar in Asana by having the checklists here. So you could add, add an item and have the different checklists here. The big thing that I don't like about Trello is that once you've completed a task, there's no way to check it off and have it remain on the board. So the only way, like in the checklist, you can check things off, that's fine. But in the actual board here, if you wanted to complete this, the only way for you to complete it or, or have it removed from your list is to archive it. And once it's archived, it just disappears from your list altogether, which for me personally is a little bit confusing because I like to see what I've completed as tasks or what I had as a task that day and then what I completed. So the only other thing you could do is you could have another list over here that was completed and then you could drag things through right to the writing phase, the schedule phase, the analytics phase, and then to the completed phase. But then you just have this really long list of cards in here that are completed, but they're just sitting there kind of 
taking up space. And for me personally, that really clutters my mind. So I really didn't like that option in Trello. Um, but you can use a calendar in Trello just like you can in Asana. So uh, let's go back here and assign a date to this. Let's say it's going to be due the 23rd. And let's use me as, I'm, as a person that it's due. So if I come up here and I hit this calendar button, it does bring up the calendar view and you can see that that item that I just scheduled is on the calendar. So there is a calendar view on Trello. I just don't find it quite as nice to use as the view on, on here. I just find on, on Asana, it's just a lot nicer and simpler to use. So like I said, it totally depends on your workflow and which you prefer to use, but um, those are kind of the main, the main options of both. So let's go back over to a board here so I can kind of show you let's go to my content calendar this is the old content calendar that I used to use you know, again like a couple years ago when I first started my business so like you can see here I kind of had things where I was moving them moving them over right into the different ready to be scheduled scheduled to go live um, and then all the different resources and things so just depending on how your brain works those are how they are kind of set up so if your brain works anything like mine and you prefer checklists where you can see what each item was that you've checked off and what you've completed, I highly recommend that you check out Asana. I personally love it for my business. Now, I would love to hear from you. Do you use a project management tool in your business? And if so, what is it? And if you don't, has this video convinced you that Asana would be the best choice for you? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And as always, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And we'll catch you next week. Bye guys.